Well, here we are in uh, Manor. So um, I'm going to uh, take us into town. Uh, I'll show you around the town, uh, a few of the places where you can get something to eat, uh, where you can sit down and have something to eat. And uh, then we'll get across the ferry and we'll uh, check out the actual uh, road I've been riding about. Okay, here we are down on the riverfront. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got some public toilets here. And you're right on the front of the river. We've got the two paddle steamers in today. Murray Princess. I'm not sure what the other one is. You can buy tickets on those and go for cruises down the river. As you can see, there's plenty of rotundas, places to sit. Great place to come down with a pie or a pasty and a nice coffee and uh, just relax. So I'm just here on the main street. And as you can see across the road there, is the bakery, but it looks like it's closed. Go over and have a closer look. It's here we go. Anyway, it's right on the main street. I've eaten here before, and uh, the food's really, really good. So if you want to stop in for a coffee and a pie or something, highly recommend coming here. I did want to show you all the cakes and everything. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, um, this is the Pretoria Hotel. Um, as you see by the car park, you're right on the riverfront. And the best part of all is, you can sit and have a meal whilst enjoying the scene and keeping an eye on your ride. Uh, I have eaten here before, uh, the food was very nice, I'm sure it still is. Uh, too early now of course, it's only about 8 o'clock in the morning, but uh, yeah, it's a great spot to sit. Um, I've brought my wife here and uh, really quite enjoyed it. So if you're coming too up and uh, looking for a nice little spot to stay, right here. Nice meal. Well, it's time to hit the ferry uh, and show this uh, Nice little spot I found along the river that you can ride along. Uh, remember, as I said, you've got to look at the ferry as it's coming towards you, because there are two ferries, otherwise you have a bit of a weight on your hands. So let's go have a look. And if you decide to come up on Australia Day, uh, maybe don't. It's chockers. Uh, ferries packed. Um, people in line everywhere. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be sitting here for a good 10-15 minutes just to get across the river. 
so keep that one in mind. Okay, so we just crossed over the ferry. Uh, so I'm going to follow the road up and around the corner and up the hill. Uh, we're looking out for a sign to turn off as we're heading up the hill. Um, as I said, it's not the first one because uh, they've blocked it off later up. So you need to get up the top and then cut. But I'll, I'll show you where to go. So as you can see, uh, I've just come down to the bottom of the hill. This is the start of the road. That's why you can't take that first turn off. As you can see, they've blocked it off. So you've just got to come up the hill. And this is just the start of what you're going to get to see. This road follows right along the river. Really nice. I've stopped just here on the corner, because as you can see on the rock here, it's got the 1956 flood level. So, to give you an idea, I'll pop the old helmet down. Get it to sit there. So, as you can see, it's well above me. It's, hell, it's, like, it's right up about here. So, you can imagine well over, and I'm even standing on a bit of dirt here. Um, well over my head. So just imagine that as we're going along the road and having a look at all the houses that are, that are basically down on this level and picture them basically up above their windows, all underwater. Um, you'll see a lot of the newer houses up, up on the side of the hill because they've seen the level uh, and you never know it could happen again obviously, especially the way the weather's going. But all the ones down the bottom, that's where everyone's had their shacks over the years and um, yeah, you probably lose a lot if you left anything in there. So, um, the only other thing to point out I suppose is you're going to see a lot of beautiful um, river scenery here with the birds. But the thing about coming up around here is once you get away from the river it is very dry. And you do get a lot of uh, contrasting vegetation. So as you can see here with the cactuses, I mean, you know, you just about think you're in the desert. And yet, you've got a water wonderland here. Um, you'll see the limestone cliffs and the red sand as we go along. So let's get on with it, shall we?
there's so many things to look at that you just want to pull over all the time. Um, nice little cul-de-sac here on the bike. Well, cul-de-sac. Um, pull over. But just have a look at the river. And you get the amazing amount of bird wildlife out there. You can see out there Well, it was good timing by the kookaburras, so you know they're out there. But you can see the pelicans out there in the distance, all grouped together. There's one flying over there. Oh, they're just magnificent to watch. And yeah, as I said, right next to all this life and water, you're going to turn to the side and you think you're in the desert. So it's definitely a contrast. I was just pulling off. I looked over and I saw it. But don't laugh. You might just make out a long black line there. Which out the corner of my eye, I did think was a snake. We'll get a bit closer. And sure enough, it's just a bit of rubber. But I'm a city boy, and uh, I see something like that, I panic. All right. settlement of young husband. Um, as you can see we've got a petrol station here and uh, they sell pies and parsies and iced coffees. Uh, nice little table at the back here. So I'm actually going to sit here and have some breakfast. Um, quite a popular destination for boats and camping. Being uh, Australia Day long weekend it's chockers. So you can hear them in the background. And here's a little general store here. So we'll go in there and we'll grab something mate.
Now, as you can see, the, the roads, the dirt road's not too bad, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm just on a standard road bike, and it's all right. You know, there's a few little corrugations here and there. It's going to depend on the surface of the road. It's going to get graded occasionally and all that. But uh, every time I've come up here, I've found it pretty good. Now, as you've seen how far we've gone on the road, um, you'll see when we leave, but basically that's the main road just out there in the distance. So it's really just over the hill. So as you can see, it's only, it's only a couple of kilometres. And um, as I'm about to show you, it's well worth it. Because this view is amazing. You can see the lagoons off to the side. Then you've got your main body of water. And then just a strip of land that everyone's put their shacks on. And there's another lagoon on the other side. I'll take you down a bit closer. Just to make sure there's no black bellied rubber strips around to scare the bejeebas out of me. And there you go. I must admit, I've not normally seen this much um, people on the water. I guess being the Australia Day long weekend, there's uh, people everywhere, but as you can see, you can walk down a bit. Don't go walking too far, that's uh, a bit of a drop there. But yeah, you can see everyone's uh, little holiday shacks they got set up. Nice for some, I guess. Plenty of people out water skiing and jet skiing or just cruising along. Nice and a day like today, but uh, I'd rather be on two worlds myself. But if you could be bothered even uh, coming here maybe and having lunch, if you bring a chair with you or something. And I certainly strap one on the bike when I go away. But the view is just amazing. And how green's that lawn? Middle of summer? No worries. I'd like to know how they mow it. Now, um, as I said about that drop, you've got to be careful because as you can see here, these are limestone cliffs. Um, they do crumble. You've really got to be careful. But, just a magnificent view. And there's a pelican flying off in the distance. Oh, I've got some people on canoes over there. It's all happening. Alright. So I'll take you to the end of the road now. Um, and you'll see where the, uh, the old farmhouse on the corner. We'll hang a left. I'm going to head back to Pernong, cross the um, Murray again on another ferry, and then we cut back across to Manham, and you'll see the other uh, part of the river and the uh, waterfowl there.
We've come off the ferry a second time. We're on the other side of the road, the Manham sign again. This is a straight bit. It's a very long straight bit. I'm not going to bore you with it, so I'll shut it down now. As we're coming into Manham, that's where the wetlands start again. And I'll give you another look. skirts and manum and there's a bug on the lens. Sorry about that. Um, so we've done a full circle and we've come back and just on the edge here we've got all the wetlands. Uh, if there's one thing I'm guilty of when I'm out riding is I'm not actually stopping to look at things. I just keep riding and think oh that looks nice. Uh, but it's something I'm going to start doing more of now because uh, time's precious and you're going to enjoy it while you can. So. I'll leave you guys here to enjoy the scenery uh, and head out and have a look myself. Good night. 